He is known for his contributions as an experimental and theoretical chemist and physicist. He is recognized for his discovery of hydrogen and his precise research into the composition of atmospheric air and the properties of different gases. His name is Henry Cavendish. In the world of science, few names carry the weight of Henry Cavendish. This English natural philosopher and scientist made significant contributions to both experimental and theoretical chemistry and physics. One of his most notable discoveries was that of hydrogen, which he aptly named, inflammable air. In his 1766 paper, On Factitious Airs, Cavendish not only described the properties of inflammable air but also determined its density and its ability to form water through combustion. It was Antoine Lavoisier who later reproduced Cavendish's experiment and gave this remarkable element its official name. Despite his groundbreaking work, Cavendish was known for his shyness. However, this did not hinder his pursuit of scientific knowledge and precision. He dedicated his research to understanding the composition of atmospheric air, the properties of various gases, the synthesis of water, the laws of electrical attraction and repulsion, and even a mechanical theory of heat. But perhaps his most renowned experiment was the one that came to be known as the Cavendish experiment, where he successfully measured the density of the earth. Henry Cavendish's contributions to the field of science were monumental. His discovery of hydrogen and his meticulous research into various scientific phenomena have left an indelible mark on the scientific community. Cavendish's work not only expanded our understanding of the natural world but also paved the way for future scientific advancements. His legacy serves as a reminder of the profound impact that one dedicated scientist can have on the course of human knowledge. In his pursuit of scientific knowledge, Henry set up two houses in town, one in London and one in Clapham Common. The London house housed his extensive library, while the Clapham Common house became a hub for his experiments. It was here that Henry conducted his most famous experiment, known as the Cavendish experiment, which aimed to determine the density of the earth. To carry out his experiment, Henry used a modified torsion balance designed by John Michel, a geologist who unfortunately passed away before he could conduct the experiment himself. The apparatus consisted of two small lead spheres suspended from the torsion balance arm, as well as two larger stationary lead balls. Henry sought to measure the gravitational attraction between these objects. Recognizing the potential for errors due to temperature and air currents, Henry made adjustments by isolating the apparatus in a separate room and incorporating telescopes for observations. Using the period of oscillation of the torsion balance, Henry calculated the attraction between the balls and subsequently determined the density of the Earth. His groundbreaking findings revealed that the Earth's average density is 5.48 times greater than that of water. Although a small arithmetic error led to a slightly different published value, Henry's experiment was remarkable for its meticulous elimination of potential sources of error and its precision in measuring an incredibly minute attraction. While many describe Henry's work as a measurement of either the gravitational constant or the Earth's mass, it is important to note that Henry himself aimed to measure the Earth's density. It wasn't until much later, in 1873, that the constant was officially named after him. Nonetheless, Henry's results also provided valuable insights into the Earth's mass. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.